Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this stitch. Um, it's a knitted stitch. Um, all you have to do is repeat um, four rows. The alternate row is always the purl row. Um, and the important thing that the purl row, do, you, you leave the stitches very loose. So you will manage to make these. Um, it's a beautiful stitch. As I told you, it can be used for um, a bag, a shawl, um, for many things, you can use it to make a pocket, to make a headband. It can be used for many, many things. Hope that you try it. We start by casting on the stitches and we cast on multiples of four. So cast on multiples of four plus two. So I am going to repeat. Cast on stitches multiples of four plus two you continue like that the casting on is ready now we're going to start the first row and we're going to pearl it all the first stitch as always i prefer to leave it on the needle like this you don't pearl it you just put it on the needle and we're going to pearl the whole row make sure that the, you don't um knit tightly you knit loose loose make sure that the stitches are loose not tight so you continue purl the first row as i told you purl them loosely continue with the purl so I purled the first row, as I told you, always make them loose. The, the stitches, leave them loose. We're going to start the next row now. The first stitch I prefer not to knit it, so I leave it on the needle like this. We go to the second one, we make the stitch, the needle like this, we put it like this. We knit it, we pull it a bit up and we leave it on the hook, like on the needle like here. And this one we leave it on the needle here. We go here again in the first one, we go in the second one, pull up a stitch, that is two. These two together, you go in the third one, pull up a stitch and you have three. We go in these three, we go in the fourth one. And we pull up the fourth stitch and then we let them out the four of them we go to the second one we do the same we're going to make the second group of four we go in the first one pull up a stitch and we leave it here we go in the first one and then the second one pull up a stitch and we leave it on here these two and we go in the third one we do the same we pull it like this we leave it on the needle, we go in these three, we go to the fourth one, we pull up a stitch and then we slip them together and that is another group and you continue all the row like that, the first one you pull up a stitch, the first one and the second one you pull up a stitch, these two and the third one and you pull up a stitch the first three the fourth one you pull up a stitch and you pull them out and you continue all the row like that making a group of four always making a group of four as you can see this row is ready we have a group of four and the first one and the last one now we're going to make the next row and we're the next row we are going to pearl it all. The first one I prefer to put it on the needle like this. And we're going to pearl all the stitches. Always pearl them loosely. Leave them loose like this. Like I'm doing. Leave them loose. So you can work the, the row. The row after this you can work it better. You leave them very loose. And you continue to purl 
all the stitches, the whole row purled, and as I told you, leave the stitches very loose. The purl row is ready too. Now we're going to start the next row. The first one we put it directly on the needle without knitting it and we knit the first two. So on the needle we have to have three in this row. And we're going to do the same, a group of four. The first one, you put the needle over there, pull up a stitch and leave it on the hook, on the needle. The two together, leave it on the needle. The first two and the third one. And you leave it on the needle. The first three, the fourth one, you, and you pull them out together. We're going to do the next group. The first one, these two together, these two and the third one. If you leave the stitches loose, it won't be difficult to make. The three and the fourth one. And you continue all the row like that, making a group of four. So this row we started with three, we knitted three, and we have to finish here to, with the last three, with, with three stitches. And so we knit the last three stitches. And that row is ready too. Now, the row after this one, you have to purl it. You purl the row after this one, as I told you, always leave this, the stitches very loose. And the pearl row is ready too. Now we're going to start again from this one. Always repeating the, those four rows that I told you. The first one, you leave it on the needle. You go in the first one, second one, pull up a stitch, leave it on the needle, first one and the second. Pull up a stitch, leave it on the needle, two. And the third one, pull it up, three. And the fourth one, fourth one, pull it up, and then you pull it out together. And you continue the row like that. This row, you continue it like that. One, two, three, and four, and you pull them out. You continue all the row like that. As you can see, we're alternating. The first one we started from here. We, after the first stitch, we started. The second one, we, st we started with three. With three, we knitted three, and then we started making the group. Now again, we're starting from the, f the second one. We knit, we, we, this first stitch we didn't knit it. Then we started from the second one to make the groups of four. As you can see, this row is ready too. Now I'm going to purl the next row. The next row, or every alternate row, you have to purl it. So I'm going to purl it, always making the stitch, the stitches loose. I purled the row, as I told you. Now we're going to make, we're going to repeat this row here. We're, we have to repeat, always repeat. The first one you don't knit it, you knit the next two. So you have to have three on the needle. And you're going to start ma making four groups again. This is the first one. One. Two. Three. And four. And that is the first group. And you continue making four groups. Here you have to remain you have to have here remaining three stitches. You knit the last three, you knit them. Then the row after, you purl it, always making the stitches very loose. And you continue with the pattern like that, like I showed you. Then the next row, you only knit one, and then you start making the group of four. You purl it, the, the row, the, the row after, then um, you knit three, and then you start the group. You continue making the pattern, the same pattern that I showed you. And this is the final result, how the stitch come. As you can see, it's a beautiful stitch. The important thing, as I told you, um, is that when you make the pearl stitch, 
um, you, you leave the, the stitches very loose or else you won't be able to make these. The important thing that when you pair, as I told you, the stitches are loose. And you're going to repeat always these rows that I showed you. The alternate row is always paired. There's no difficulty in making. Um, hope that you understood what I was doing and that you tried. Bye for now. Don't um, forget to subscribe, please. Bye.